My name is Ben Robinson, I'm the Chair of Youth Fight for Jobs. I'm just here with Dave Nellis, the Socialist Councillor in Coventry and St Michael's Ward. And Dave, why is it worth young uh, voters voting this year? In Coventry now we've got well over 20% of young people between the ages of 16 and 24 who are unemployed. It's probably the highest figure we've had for 15 or 20 years. And the cuts which the Coalition down in London is demanding and which the Labour Council here in Coventry is acquiescing to is cutting a thousand jobs from the City Council. That's a thousand careers that school leavers in Coventry can no longer aspire to. So one reason for voting is to send a message to the big parties that you're unhappy with the way in which they're ignoring the needs of the uh, young people and you want to see a proper programme of protecting the jobs that we've got and the creation of proper training and apprenticeships that lead on to a guaranteed job at the end so that young people coming out of school can have some sort of future. And for those who want to go on to other forms of education, uh, the Coalition Tory uh, government has axed the education maintenance allowance. Ironically, that was something which we socialists first raised on a national level in the mid-1980s. I can remember sponsoring about 1985-86, just before the manifesto was uh, created in the 1987 general election, a campaign to get an educational maintenance allowance in every secondary year school in the country. It took a long time before that idea was uh, adopted, but now the Tories are taking it uh, away, and regretfully, Labour has not put up enough of a fight to try and uh, maintain it. When it comes to tuition fees, Labour never said in its manifesto in 1997 it would bring them in, but it brought in tuition fees and uh, loans instead of uh, grants. Now the Tories have ratcheted up the level to £9,000 a year if you want to go to university, which means in a three-year degree course, young people are facing a debt of £50,000 just to pay for their tuition and to uh, have enough money to uh, barely exist on for the three years of uh, university uh, uh, life. The Socialist Party, along with campaigns like Youth Fight for Jobs, have been fighting against this exploitation of youth, demanding the reintroduction of EMA, the abolish, abolition of uh, tuition fees, and the paying back, by the way, to those who have had to take out those uh, loans in the, uh, the, the past. We've led the campaigns in the big employers up and down the country in recent months who want to use young people as cheap labour through the government's workfare scheme. Now, voting me or voting socialist in Coventry won't immediately overnight change those things, but firstly, it sends a message to the establishment that young people are not going to be ignored any longer. But do more than that. Get involved in campaigns like Youth Fight for Jobs. Join us in the Socialist Party. If we could grow bigger, we can start to have a bigger effect on politics in this country. So voting is the first step. Getting involved is the most important.